Okay, so today we're gonna do a dumbbell bicep curl. And we're gonna do this together as a dual bicep curl. So that means both arms are gonna be working together. It's not one at a time. Again, this is to work your biceps and a bit of your forearms in your wrists. So starting out, again, base. Always start with the base, always start with the feet. Knees are nice and loose. Elbows in your arms, loose, not locked out. Don't wanna hurt that joint, keep it loose. To start the position, you're gonna start with your hands in a neutral position, meaning they're sideways. They're not up, they're not down. They're by your side. To do this, again, both dumbbells together. Come up, squeeze, and control the negative. As you control the negative back down, you're gonna rotate your hands back to the start position, okay? Now, with this, breathing is very important. You always wanna breathe during the part that you're working against gravity, okay? So you're gonna breathe out, and breathe in as you come back down. Again, you're controlling it. Bad habits that you see, guys throwing the weight up, dropping the weight down, not doing a thing to help themselves. Always keep control, especially during the negative. It's very important to keep control during that negative, during the part where you're releasing the weight. It actually benefits you twofold to control that part of the exercise, as opposed to just the contraction. Um, another bad habit you see, guys moving their elbows all the way forward to try to get leverage, that takes away from the exercise completely. Keep those elbows locked in place. Again, up, squeeze that bicep at the top, and release. And that's your dumbbell curl.